Hi everyone, I'm Andy Hagenstaller at Circa Services Leads for Eastern Minnesota and Wisconsin. I'm here today with Justin Bauer from Bauer Seeds and Services in Duran, Wisconsin to talk to you about the Encirca Nitrogen Pro app. I think you can see right here I'm moving through it. What I have done is brought up an operation. And in fact, this operation includes a field where Justin and I are here today with some customers talking about this new app from Pioneer uh, in Duran. And so what you're seeing here is a different set of fields. And for each one, you're seeing the products that are planted on those fields, a summary of the weather since the planting date, and at the bottom, you can see some gauges showing us what's going on with nitrogen at different stages in crop growth. So I'm just going to go into one of these fields right now. In fact, the field we're standing in and just take a little bit of a look at some of the features of this app. So what this app does is it uses the weather information from the DTN network, which Pioneer is connected to through our Encirca services, to feed weather information into the location where we're standing. You can see that field in the little picture back there. And it also uses the soil types and the yield history in those fields in order to give us an idea of what the nitrogen levels in the field are today relative to the yield goals we've set for the field and the individual yield zones on the field. So if you look at those gas gauges there, you can see that for V6, we're estimated to have 103 pounds, but for VT, we're estimated to have um, significantly more than that and 100% chance of success. And so the reason why the numbers are different for different growth stages is because of the nitrogen plan that I've entered for this field. Um, I have about 50 pounds of urea on pre-plant, about 15 pounds of 1034O have been, were applied on May 15th at planting, and then the plan is to come back next week with a urea application of side dress of about 100 pounds of nitrogen, and then finally a fertigation event a right before tasseling of another uh, 25 units. So if we go back to those charts, the reason why the levels are shown to be in the red today is we just still have some nitrogen that's going to go on this field next week. Really what we want to focus on is what's that field looking like, predicted to look like at VT, and we can see that we're going to have plenty of nitrogen. Uh, we're estimated to have a 100% chance of success, and that's based on our plan here where we have a total of about 190 units going into this field. So that's really what we can see in this app. We can do that for any field we want. Uh, the field just needs to be enrolled with Pioneer and put those management practices, the product, the planting date. One of the really cool features about this app that's available for any field in here is we can real quickly get a summary of the weather on that field in addition to the nitrogen. Um, and again, this weather data is coming directly off of the DTN network. And in, in the case of this particular field, I believe there's a weather station very close by. It'll automatically show you or initially show you what the weather over the previous day was, but we can go in here and just pick any interval we want to look over. So I'm going to say what happened on this field in Durand over the previous month. We've had 4.3 inches of rain, accumulated about 377 GDUs. You can see there what the estimated high or the measured high and low temperatures were. We can really go through here and just really quickly summarize the weather in any way we want. There I ask since planting date, I can say what happened over the previous two days, or I could choose to look, oh, excuse me, I could choose to look at what happened last week. And so we had two tenths of an inch on this field last week. So in summary, from, from my position here, this is a great tool um, that you could use to monitor the weather field by field. Um, that's totally for free. If you were interested in monitoring the nitrogen on your fields, you'd be able to enroll it with Pioneer and get access to that information. Uh, this app is available for uh, Apple devices and Android. For Apple, just go to the App Store, search and circa nitrogen. And for your Android, just do the same search in the Google Play Store. Justin, I'm going to turn it over to you and kind of get your take on this and tell you or tell us what some of your experience with it and your customers' experiences with it have been. Yeah, thank you, Andy. So again, Justin Bauer with Bauer Seed and Service. Uh, you know, we have several customers that have this downloaded on their phone uh, this past year. And one of the key benefits that they love to look at every day is to jump on there and see what has rained in each of their individual fields. Um, we've seen it a lot this spring. We had a lot of wet weather and they're able to go on this app and go look, oh, you know, that North 40 over there didn't get any rain last night. I'm going to go there. Um, with that, you know, once they upgrade to that nitrogen monitoring uh, tool, um, they're really able to take some of the guesswork out that we're used to doing. Uh, you know, when we're coming in, we get a week of rain and wondering, you know, how much of my nitrogen have I lost on some of these sandy soils or, or even my heavy soils that got saturated. This little app is a handy little tool that can take that guesswork out and you can just jump right on there and see, okay, I have 60 pounds left. If I put an application on next week, you know, I'll be maybe at that 90% uh, chance of success at Tassel and that's where kind of I would love to be. Um, so. I find uh, a lot of our growers are going to find this app as a handy tool uh, for them out in the field. Thanks a lot, Justin. And again, if you're interested in this, talk to Justin or your local Pioneer rep. Uh, most of these guys are well uh, familiar with this tool and something that they could help you get set up an account with uh, once you download it. So uh, thanks for uh, tuning in today and uh, best luck with your crop this year. Thanks.